Hello dear Aquarius. Okay, so we're going to do November reading. So that means it's time for the house spread. Yay. So let's see the front door. Okay, for the front door, what is about to enter your life? Let's see. What's about to enter for Aquarius? Okay, so we have here. Oh, things are going to come to balance. Or you can be more patient with something. Maybe the energy of the house will be more patient. I don't feel like that might be for some. Because it feels like sort of chaotic. Or if you people get upset real quick. Maybe there will be more patience and understanding with things. Sagittarius energy. Let's see what we get of that. Well, we have the beer. Ooh. There's a protection around the house. You might have, uh, there's also, there might be more. The bear could also stand for authority, too. Huh. Yeah, the bear is um, power struggle sometimes, too. But it's weird because that it feels like, so that's coming into balance. Aggression or, um, but. It feels so with the beer and with the temperance, it feels like that's going to get calmed down a little bit. So you felt like things were a little bit, maybe someone's being a little bit, I don't know, I feel like a, a energy that maybe gets upset easy. I think that there's going to be a calming effect coming in, if that makes sense. And we have a good lady. So there's a good lady in in this house that it has this calming effect. Or maybe she's someone that can um, be like a good leader or um, be in control, but in a very calming, peaceful way. That's the type of energy. Okay. So now let's go on to see what's cooking in the kitchen. What is cooking in the kitchen? So we have here the High Priestess. Ooh. Very intuitive energy here. Someone's cooking up something. Maybe so, someone might be a very creative cook, chef. Someone could be like using their... I, and I think when people that are chefs that are, you know, they're very... Um, why is this flipped over? This is something about it. Something coming in quick. I didn't realize this card was flipped over. Um, yeah, so this... Energy here could be someone that, um, well, I think anybody that is really good at being a chef or cook, they are very intuitive because you're listening to you, your higher self, if that makes sense. There also could be something about secrets here, but let's see. Maybe someone's cooking something secret for someone. <laughs> Here's a, could be a surprise dinner. <laughs> let's see. We have here a ship. Wow, this is a very different reading doing these these decks here. I almost feel like someone's maybe cooking up something and it could be for people coming from afar or there's something here that someone is working on or intuitively knowing that someone's coming in. This could be just saying, oh, I just know that this person's coming. I could feel their energy. Um, the ship is weird because the ship could also be dealing with um, something like the shift could also represent something different like um, a foreign to you foreign travel it could be um, something at a distance Let's see it feels like this is going to get really deep so let me get another card in here hmm This is a get-together. So someone is cooking something for someone that might be coming in from a distance. And may they intuitively know this or maybe it's a secret. Someone could be surprising someone. But there is a get-together coming in. I, so it feels like someone, I don't know if you're a real aware of it or not, but you might be having some kind of event at your house that you're going to have to cook for. It might be secretly showing up. For some, or could someone that just knows it, feels it, saying, well, I don't know why I'm thinking about so-and-so. I, I feel like I'm going to see them. And then here they are. That type of energy. Wow. 
so let's see about the living room. What are you living with? The Seven of Cups. Hmm. There's some kind, someone's stuck in their head about what to do about something here. A lot, look at this, like the head in the clouds here, confusion about something. A living situation, something happening inside the house. Okay, let's see. A tree, yes, yeah, something about the family. The, there's something about growth, the family. This is maturity. It could be a past life connection. Something long lasting here. Hmm. Great fortune. Ooh. Someone's confused. Need to make a choice here about something to do with maybe something for growth and maturity within the house. But there could be a past life connection to this, but it's long lasting. But it's also a, a connection to great fortune. Wow. So yeah, there's something coming up here that might be bringing in great fortune. And it has something to do with some kind of past life connection. Wow. Let's go on to the office. Now the office could be, this is, could be your work, your career, um, what you're currently working on. Now for those that are retired or about to retire, what are you doing in replace of what you did when you were working? So those hours a day that you were, you know, working, what, what are you filling that time with now? There might be something you're doing that might actually bring in some money or something. That'll be something. We're going to replace that for what you normally did for work. And that would pertain for whatever that is. So let's see. We have the Two of Cups, a partnership. So we're looking at a partnership here. A decision, too. Two's are always decisions. We have the clouds. Ooh, confusion with the clouds. Something not certain. Someone needs to make a decision, maybe, and they're not sure what to do. The clouds could be... Also, there could be someone depressed about a connection, of uncertainty about it. Okay. And something to do with work. A business connection. Okay, we have there's there's some kind of change in this. So someone might be changing job, changing careers, or it say if someone is retiring, it might be uncertain about what to do. Or it might be, you know, when you first do when you first are no longer having that nine to five job or whatever the hours are. Um, now there's a little depression coming in because you're not sure what to do with your time and you missed that routine. But, you know, the, the only constant is change. But so there is some change taking place in someone's um, work business. Okay, now let's go on to the bedroom, your romantic life. Let's see what's happening in the bedroom for you guys. We have here the Nine of Swords. Okay, someone's not sleeping. <laughs> Someone is stressing out, not sleeping, worried about something. Let's see what we get on that. Might be worried about a romantic um, situation or someone just is not able to sleep. Okay, because of the mountain obstacles... Um, there may be something challenging happening here with the mountain. Something that someone might have to, um, there's like a roadblock or something, an obstacle, some kind of challenge that is keeping someone from sleeping, stressing out. And it could be in the love department, in a romantic um, connection. Do I have a, 
Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. This just feels like the deck is smaller, so it just feels weird. Ah, about an ending. We have here the coffin is an ending. So someone might be stressing out over an ending. A completion, a stop. There could be, though, this could also be that maybe someone's not talking to someone. So there's a stop in communication. So someone might not be sleeping because of that. Or because of someone ended something with someone. Now, you know, I'm getting here for someone here that they not sleeping because they feel someone else's energy not sleeping. Like, it almost feels like they're, they're catching someone else's vibe, especially at nighttime. When you're, you know, that's a time where you can really, um, someone could be sending you some energy. And it could be that they're thinking about you and they're stressing out over it. And you could feel that stress. So you could wake up saying, I don't know why, why I'm tossing and turning. And I feel very upset about something. But I don't know what I'm upset about. That I almost feel like someone is getting that energy from someone else sending it to them. Because they're thinking about them. And maybe because they don't see them. There's an ending here. Something has stopped on this. With the coffin. It could be a dying love. It could be um, grief. A ending, a detachment, a closure that someone's worried about here, thinking about here. I'm going to throw one of these cards on it. I I, I don't use this too often. And for this, is not, and we don't know what we're going to get, but this is going to tell the truth. So why is someone going through all this? This ending, this part, of the painful ending, or this someone's worried about ending. Why are we getting this? What is the vibe? Why we get this vibe? Let's see. Okay, so this is Archangel Michael. Protection prevented from harm. Divine intervention. And it's weird because... Oh, I got the deck upside down. Okay, I was going to say it's upside down, but I have the deck upside down. Alright. So there's something about someone actually is getting protected here. There's a divine intervention. So if something had to end with Archangel Michael here, it was divinely orchestrated here. It was something that needed to end. Or if someone's worried about them, um, pray to Archangel Michael for help, for assistance here. Because if it's meant to be, it's, you know, it's for your highest good. Okay. So let's see what's going on in the backyard. What is... Oh... Wow, okay. So we have here the wise one. And we have the eight of wands. There's something happening here. Someone's making a decision maybe to do something around the the backyard or the um, around the house or, you know, on the land. But not in the house. This is outside. So there might be movement. Uh, there might be people deciding on doing something. Like maybe this is that you want to change the structure or you want to... Put new plants in or you want to you want to change something so we have the wise one here this could also be like taurus energy because this is like the replacement of the higher vent here but it's a coming together there's also could be something about is someone thinking of moving something i don't know i'm looking at the you know i guess the geese here flying it's like almost saying that someone might be relocating something on the property like saying oh i don't like this over here i think it'd be better if we move it over here or something, something like that. But this is some kind of movement. Okay, let's see. So we have here the fish. Ah, you know what? Someone's feng swaying outside. The fish, because whatever this is that someone's deciding to do, or it might be adding something to the property, adding value to the property, because we have the fish, which means resources, abundance. Um, it's uh, independent energy, adaptability, it's freedom, it's movement, it's spiritual connection. It's also um, something about money or resources, but it, I just because of the way these are coming out, I'm getting someone's feng sway in their property. To bring in more abundance or um, also just more peace and tranquility through the house. Wow. 
And it could be also, with this card here, it could be a spiritual connection to the land. There's movement. There may be someone's getting um, guidance from the land. Okay. And this is Deep Thoughts. Wow, I like this property, whoever I'm connecting to. It feels like someone has very spiritual um, property here. Um, there might be like ancestors or it could be um, just a very strong spiritual connection. So it's, it might be a place that someone's working on in the yard or something that helps them to like meditate or go into deep thought or a very just a very strong connection. Okay. Now let's see about the neighborhood. What's going on in the neighborhood? Knight of Wands. Ooh. So, <clears throat> there could be something happening very quickly in the neighborhood. There might be some quick change or quick decision with the Knight of Wands. This also could be that we have maybe a Don Juan or Don Wanda in the neighborhood. Is that possible? That you might end up meeting here? Let me get a charm. Oh, that's my first court card, huh? Don Wanda. Aries Leo Sagittarius, possibly. We have here a paintbrush. Oh, maybe this is a painter or artist in the neighborhood. Someone might be... Um... There might be some kind of design change in the neighborhood. Maybe some kind of creative um, energy. Someone painting something different. There we go. Ooh, it's a snake. Ooh. Okay, the snake could be a betrayal, could be lies, deceit, jealousy. Let's see what else we get here. So there might be someone that someone's not trusting. They might be painting a picture that's not correct. Trying to betray people. So be careful if someone's trying to scam someone. Of something to do with the neighborhood. And we have there... This is a mediator. Yeah, this is someone that might be... Oh my God, I wonder... This is someone that is trying to convince people of something here. So be careful with that. Let me get the words on this night of wands. We have... Soulmate. Important. Love. Money. Okay. Be careful of someone in your neighborhood, it looks like. They might not be trustworthy. They might have a love for money that's more important than anything else. Let's see, we have here. Okay, this this has something to do with jewelry store. This might be something to do with jewelry. Maybe it's a jewel. This could be for someone. It could be someone that you can't trust that's at the jewelry store or something. I don't know. I, you know, that's not going to um, be for everyone, of course. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Or else the jewelry store. Maybe that could stand for something looks prettier than it is or something like that. Or could we even be thinking about metal? Maybe something to do with some kind of precious metal or gems. I don't know. I'm not going to go into that more. But Let's see what's happening in the spare bedroom. What do we have going on in the spare bedroom? Let's see. So we have the Three of Swords. Ooh. Look how we open this book and someone's seeing Three Swords. Someone might be learning something here. Some kind of betrayal that's on the side here. This is like a side thing. Something you might have been investigating. Invest, investi I wonder if this is in this. I can't say the words. Investi investigate. Investing in. I kept... That is the word. I want to say investing in. And I keep on wanting to say investigating. So that might be a reason for that. Maybe someone opened up something 
or is investigating something that they are, were trying to invest in. And it could have something to do with this here. There's some kind of third party involved. Some kind of betrayal. Hmm. The garden. Yeah, this has something to do. This could be something in the public eye. This could be with the garden. This could be a public place. Um, it could be a network. Your network. It could be your people. Your network. What Something might be someone's betraying someone. It could be a gathering or event. It could be meetings. Or it could be an actual, uh, actual park. Um... You know, this could actually a garden could be standing for someone playing in the field. So maybe someone too might be involved with someone in the neighborhood that's a playboy playgirl that they're finding out have been two timing them. That could be <laughs> wow. Could be internet too with the garden. Something online. And then we have here, this is, we have a female here. Not sure what the word is on here. We have. So this is a siren. Someone might be luring someone into something. Be careful. If there's someone that you're not too sure about in the neighborhood, on the side or something, be very careful. And of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Okay, so let's see what's hidden in the attic. What's the secrets? What's hidden in the attic for you guys? Let's see. Possibilities here. So we have the Six of Pentacles. There could be some kind of charity, someone trying to give to something here, trying to balance things out. I almost feel like someone's trying to um, make amends with someone. And they're doing it in secret. Or they're giving, they could also be given to a charity and not telling anybody. Uh, we have the cat, a very independent energy with the cat. Independently doing something, maybe helping others or giving to a charity or trying to balance things out. But a gift, yes, yeah, someone's giving a gift to someone, and but they're keeping it quiet and they're doing it um, on their own independently with the cat. Okay, let's see about the possible outcome for you guys. Or someone might be receiving a gift from someone. But it's quiet. It kept him quiet here. The Empress. Ooh. This could be abundance coming in. This could be the mother here or a mother. This could be giving birth to something new. Um, we have the bottom here. We have the Two of Wands. After... Maybe when this comes in, there might be an offer or something coming in. Or someone's trying to decide what to do here. Two of Wands at a crossroads about what to do. Need to make a decision on something. Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. But definitely could be a time of financial abundance, prosperity coming in. I just see someone has enough money to give to another here. It might be coming a time of wealth. Uh, we have mice, though. Ooh, watch out for mice. Might be causing some, some kind of stress. And we have a tower. Now, this tower here is... um. This tower is different than the tower. And this is someone that could be single. This could be um, a controlling lover. This could be emotional distress this could be bound someone might be putting up boundaries this could also be standing for a corporation an institution um higher learning higher education the government someone might be making a decision here with the two of wands mm, let's see someone might be deciding to maybe do something on their own oh 
So we have here marriage. Ooh. And we have here a child. New beginning, new start. Yeah, someone here, I think, is uh, they don't see this coming, but there might be a new start with someone making a decision. It could be also about a child. I mean, this could be with the tower. That could be, okay, what school are we going to send them to? Or it could be if you have a job offer. It might be from different institutions or corporations. Or it could be something that someone has. They're at a crossroads make a decision. Now, with this card here, the Empress marriage. There might be someone that is going to get married here. But they're going through a lot of stress. Maybe the planning and all that is could be that very stressful, which makes a lot of sense, right? So um, this could be causing stress. There could be differences that are in the marriage that people are maybe causing stress because of that. No, you might be coming from different countries, different backgrounds, different cultures. Could be any kind of difference here. But that might be causing stress. Or this could be the maybe the mother of one of these people is causing stress. Um there's like and that's five change. Twenty-three is five is changed. So that might change. But that could be what happened here that someone the mother of someone of one of these two that want to get married here or that are married is causing some kind of havoc or stress or you know, with the mice here. The mice is, um, it could be a loss, damage. It could be a nagging. Yeah, it could be a nagging. It could be fear. It could be um, maybe causing some kind of costly repairs in this um, connection. But Empress also could be a sign of abundance, which we did have. A, what is it? We have the gift here, and we had... The good fortune here. So I feel like money's coming in for someone here, but they also might, you know, but everything we have the good and we have the bad. But there might be someone causing a little bit of stress here with the mice, or there might be something that comes up that is costly. Okay. It could be a costly marriage. Maybe it's like you guys want to get married and you got someone wanting to spend more money and it might be your money they're trying to spend. <laughs> you know? Okay, let's see what signs we have here. Placement, your chart, placement, other people chart, past, present, and future. We have... Yeah, this these are different decks I'm using here because I'm doing a regular tarot deck and I'm doing a Lenormand and um, a Kipper deck so it's coming out very different okay we have aries Let me turn these up right aries sagittarius scorpio cancer Capricorn and Virgo. Okay, so placement your chart, placement other people chart, past, present, and future. We have Aries, Sag Sagittarius, oh my God. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn, and Virgo. Now we'll do the letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone first and last initials and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have B O Y. We have boy. Boys, <laughs> P O Y S, P V H K C V E. Okay, letters we have today are P P B O Y S P V H K C V E. Okay, guys, so take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. And um, if you want a personal reading, the information is below. Just send me an email and I'll send you back the information in return. You just have to put um, personal reading in the subject line. You don't have to put anything else. And um, also don't forget to follow me over on Rumble. I did the mid, I did the house readings for mid-October over there last week. And also um, I just, I do the weekly all signs. So every week I'll do all the signs. So if there's signs that I don't no longer do on this platform, I doing them weekly on that platform 
platform in one long reading. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, your donations, and for choosing me to do your personal readings. I am so honored. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.